Welcome to part 65 of Basic Training, the weekly series where I teach you how to play every track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Today we're going to be covering Moo Moo Meadows on 200cc. We'll be going over the advanced strategies that I use in my current personal best, along with some alternative strats that you can use to make things a little bit easier on yourself. But without further ado, let's get into the guide, starting with the recommended build. For Moo Moo Meadows, the world record uses Wario, Sneaker, Crimson Slim, and Wario Wing. Since we're basically just driving around in circles without many opportunities for building up mini turbos, they use a build that has a really high emphasis on speed. However, the handling on this build is kind of janky, and there's one strat in particular that's super annoying. So what I recommend is that you switch to Wario, Wiggler, Azure Rollers, and Super Glider. You'll thank me later. Now once you load up the track, start holding down the item button so that you can use a mushroom as soon as the run begins. Move to the left hand side of the track and start a left drift. Try and neutral drift as much as possible, meaning that after you start your left drift, take your thumb off the joystick. This is because messing with the joystick slows your cart down, and since we're not trying to build up a bunch of mini turbos anyway, there's really no benefit. Just before the turn starts to sharpen though, start holding a hard right on the joystick to put yourself in a good line to grab the three coins on the outside of the track, and then tighten your drift to build up a super mini turbo after grabbing the first coin. Next, start a right drift as soon as you build up that super mini turbo and try to take as tight a line as possible around this next right turn, and then after building up a mini turbo, hop over this little patch of grass. I'm not really sure why this works, but it seems like if you hop over the uphill portion of the grass and land on the downhill portion, you tend not to lose any speed, which is nice because then we'll be in a good position to start our next left drift and build up a mini turbo while grabbing the two coins. Again, it's really important to try and mix in neutral drifting as much as you can here. Now after we grab those two coins, move to the right hand side of the track and wait until just after this little dip to start your next left drift. Widen your drift just enough to grab the next two coins and then tighten it up just before grabbing the first coin so that you can hang out as close to the fence and the off-road as possible. Once you build up a super mini turbo, hop right to release it and then grab the rightmost coin here. And then, after grabbing that coin, start another wide left drift. After passing the patch of grass on the right, you should be able to just neutral drift around the entire turn to build up a mini turbo to finish up the lap. Now moving on to lap two, you want to start your left drift right around the time that you get to the lap marker. You want to take this drift only as wide as you need to, keeping the joystick in neutral as much as possible. Now this next bit is honestly pretty annoying. After building up a super mini turbo, you want to do a right drift, build up a mini turbo, and hop over the grass just like on lap one. But then what you want to do is start a left drift and mushroom through the grass. There are a ton of ways that this can go wrong, the most common being that you hit the cut at a bad angle and fly off the track. But after a couple hours of grinding, I did manage to come up with a halfway decent setup for this. What I do is, after starting the left drift, pay attention to the position of your cart relative to these two big trees. You want to approach the shortcut with your cart directly in front of the leftmost tree, and then tighten your drift and use your mushroom at the same time, when you're about a cart's length away from the off-road. And you should be able to go straight over the grass instead of getting a bunch of air time. Now once you come out of the shortcut, release your mini turbo and then drift around the ramp just like on lap 1. The world record does this strat a little bit differently. Instead of starting their left drift after hopping over the grass, they actually start their left drift on top of the grass. The tree setup I mentioned before still applies for the most part, but for some reason, I found it far less consistent when attempting to copy the world record. Fortunately, once we're done with that shortcut, the only thing left is to use our left drift to build up a mini turbo, and then as soon as you get to the very bottom of the molehill, release your mini turbo and trick at the same time. You want to trick as close to the bottom portion of the molehill as you can, because if you trick at the top, you'll get a lot more air time. Now lap 3 is pretty much the same as lap 2, but before checking out a full run, we've got to talk a bit more about those molehills. They operate on a global cycle, meaning that they'll be in the same place at the same time every time you play the track. And this is true whether you're time trialing or racing online, the pattern is going to be exactly the same. The problem is that the strategies I went over really only work if you're on the same sort of pace as I am. If you're a little bit faster or a little bit slower, the molehills are going to be in a different position and you can't rely on these same strategies. If you don't feel like worrying about all this, then just repeat the lap 1 strategy of building up a super mini turbo around the turn and then neutral drifting around the last turn of the lap. Now the world record, which is a couple seconds faster than me, gets a cycle that allows them to not only get a mini turbo trick off the first molehill on lap 2, but also allows them to drift off the orange boost ramp and get a mini turbo trick off the next molehill as well. Then on lap 3, they basically just do what I did on lap 2 and mini turbo trick off the molehill into a trick off the orange boost ramp. However, it is important to note that the world record gets a cycle where they encounter a molehill trail just before the final turn. If you hit this molehill trail at a bad angle, it's going to give you a lot of air time. 
I've never really been able to find a consistent way to deal with this, but you can either try drifting over it like the world record does, or you can approach the turn from a really wide angle and then just tricking off the molehill. And that's it for the strategy, so let's check out how all this is put together in a full run while I talk a little bit more about the track. By far the most important skill to master for this track is neutral drifting, since pretty much every turn makes use of it at least a little bit. The next thing to point out is that I mentioned that the molehills have the same behavior regardless of whether you're time trialing or playing online. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for the cows. As far as I can tell, there are no set patterns for these cows, and because of this, you may or may not be able to do the hops over the grass depending on how annoying they decide to be in any given race, and I've even seen situations where they block not only the grass, but most of the track as well, making them more or less impossible to avoid. Now if you are time trialing, then thankfully their positioning will at least be consistent, and once you've gotten everything else down, the only thing that's going to give you problems is the mushroom cut. Like I mentioned in my detailed breakdown, even with a good setup, I've personally found it to be really frustrating and inconsistent. Fortunately, you only have to do it twice since on lap one, we use our mushroom at the very start of the run. And even if you fail the cut a hundred times, the track is short enough that it's really not that big of a time waste. Now if you're racing online or doing shroomless time trials, then just drift around the mushroom cut like we did on lap one, and you'll be good to go. And that's everything you need to know about Moo Moo Meadows on 200cc. Pretty straightforward, yet admittedly fun course, mushroom cut notwithstanding. If this video helped you out, please don't forget to drop a like, since that really helps the video get exposure to other people looking to improve at the game. And also let me know down in the comments if and how much time you were able to save, because my main goal with these videos is to help you all become better racers. And I love hearing how useful you found my videos so far. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to do some basic training, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.